What up? <laughs> what up? It's your boy Coast D, aka Godzilla the City Slicker, aka Fly Flip with a Honey Dipper. Yo, 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 it's your boy Reese, aka Chef Boy R. Reese, aka Bobby Flip BK. Yo, what's up? It's your boy Jiggy Jace, aka El Negro Papi Chulo, aka Slim Papa, aka OG Dookie Jones, you know. How about your boy? So, how would you guys describe your selves? Cool, creative, free, <laughs> laid back, smooth. Um, <laughs> but we can still give you that fire, like, sure. you know, you know, energy. We bite people heads off. We give people the business on the track, business in the streets. That's how we do it. We businessmen. When it comes down to it, yeah, we don't play when it comes to this music thing. Yeah. We're very determined. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> So you just released an EP. Tell me a little bit about it. I got you. Uh, you want to? Yeah, you got it. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say. I got it. I got it. Uh, yeah, it's called Downtown Niggas. You know, represent where we're from. We from Brooklyn. Uh, that's downtown when you take the train. You feel me? That's D W N T W N. How? Gotta, gotta spell that out for y'all. Um, like at least the way I thought about it. After a while, it's like I wanted to make music that. Was gonna be shit I wanted to listen to in the summertime. Like a lot of the songs were just made in the studio, just jamming out, really putting shit together. Somebody called me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. oh, man, in the hour. It was pretty free, really. Like yeah. a lot of the songs were made in the studio, so we would just be kicking it, chill, like and just. To have conversations, and just chat about shit that's going on in life and in the world, and we just make songs, just jam out. I was listening to a lot of Biggie, a lot of pop, you know, from there I just drew my inspirations on just what a downtown nigga was. I just wanted to be in that element, just not giving a fuck. <laughs> so we was making a song beforehand. Yeah, what were we making? I don't remember. <clears throat> Downtown niggas was kind of tough though. It was a little tougher than walking back to Brooklyn. Yeah, word. Downtown niggas. 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 So, so what's a normal day for you guys like in the studio? <laughs> Ain't nothing normal about it, you know. <laughs> nah. Um, at least with me, I come through. I hear the tracks. I lay my vocals down, I get out. <laughs> or he's like two huh? He does his things fast, boom, boom, boom. Vibe a little, then he by I.O. Peace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you know, how you keep it fresh, you feel me? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta live life. If you don't live life, what are you talking about? Shit, I like to marinate in the studio. I sit there and be there all motherfucking day. Just making beats. Writing rhymes, making songs, and just just chilling and smoking and drinking. <laughs> yeah, we usually start up at like, I don't know, like 5 or some shit, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, and just be in the studio until mad late. Yeah, it's like 4 or 5 in the morning. 4 or 5 in the morning, word. And do it again the next day because you didn't have that creative process, you didn't have that, that vibe, that mind state. Get there, you roll up. Yeah. Sure, man. <laughs> Listen to some shit, like play a whole bunch of tracks, and then after finally we get into like playing some beat, and then the shit is you being like playing that one beat for like an hour, two hours, and then they're like, nah. It is started. What do you like? Just like. That's my shit back in the day. Oh, not long. The Brat and Tyrese. Oh, wow. Dur, dur, dur. Dur, dur, dur. So, how would you describe your sound? Mm. You want to take that question? I could say, I'll take that. Yeah, go ahead, Coach. Diddy Bop. I feel like our sound is. It took a while for us to find it. And you know. It's something that it's something that had a lot to do with just like the people that we have around us and shit, and like really, just the things that we used to. 
and that we that we heard like coming up being like in New York or whatever, and it's just like a whole melange all that. True. Just pretty much just sound like us, cause I, we three different people from different from like everybody else in the world, and we came together to make this shit. So we're gonna make something that doesn't sound like anybody else in the world. How how's the process different in making an EP? and making a studio album. Okay. Me, I approach it the same, you know. I try to come through, give my best effort, put my best foot forward and all that, you know. Uh, you know, try to be the most creative in the group and for like, try to be the most creative uh, version of myself, you know. It's, it's all competition, for me at least. So I'm trying to have the best spot, I'm trying to have the best, you know, verse and everything like that, so it's like, I'm always in, you know, competitive mode. I feel like whenever you're doing a writing this shit, yeah, I, I feel all right. about that. Like, but like with the EP, the only reason why for me it was different, or for me it's different, it's like when you're doing a production or whatever, or you're doing like some shit for like, you got to figure out how we're going to put the nine songs on that shit. Mm -hmm. How do you have? The, how do you tell that story in nine songs, like how we did on, on Welcome Back to Brooklyn, we had 22 tracks. Right, right. Do the most that you can without doing the most. Even with your verses too. Though. Yeah, it's the same that's word. True. That's why I feel like there was all the melodies and shit, at least like subconsciously. I didn't even think about that thing. But like throughout all our verses, it's like, it's melodic on shit. We're doing different things. Yeah. like keep people entertained. We only got nine songs to get through. True. You, like, you don't want to be like, all right, nine songs give me bars, 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 Mad fucking bars. Just. I mean, back then they ain't want me, but now they popping up like hocus pocus. Young Jiggy be that focus with flows and spit like four foes, empty clips, and then start reloading. I know it's hopeless, it's bogus. That's your bitch want to get chosen by a nigga that's the closest who me. Stepped on the scene, sipping bottles of Dom P. Shorty, she sweating me. Can you believe the team? Janine, Maxine, Celine, Nadine, and Dan. And every shorty in between, I stack green like my name, Eugene Levine. Forever scheme on this cream, it's all I need. You intervene, I will leave your body steam and go on scene. Royal clutch, we reign supreme. So we know he called like C3PO. I got that ass up in the air while I sip some Pino. Another week clock on my play card. I'm striving hard so a nigga can quit his day job, but maybe get it laid off. So I'm steady collecting checks of my best. I'm spending less than 40% just to see myself vexed. Yet I still hit the liquor store for bottles so I can keep it going. Holding my mind up with the highs of marijuana. I'm caught up with love for dreams with being rooted in the true shit. With some drinks and some Hennessy, smoke the greenery, sceneries blended with thievery for my nigga sanity. Had to be planned for me to be a motherfucking casualty. Sad to see my life some the way I didn't fail. And how I live today dictated will I get a break? I contemplate my life skate debate, moving away. And find a walk in my complaint, I'm steady moving and angst. Damn, I walk up out the store black and my cluster been my pole ready to light. I'm focused on living tonight, that's all, y'all. Shit is realer than most. Cops gripping the toast, we in the post, pillin' the dope to the smoke, filling your throat and your nose dripping. I'm known for the quote, pitching with wisdom to make the vets notice. And my folks will air out your chest like your vest open, Reese nigga. From the streets where the beast get you, all about the peace until the peace hit your sweet sister. Now it's beef, but y'all niggas don't understand why. Cause y'all talking like all of y'all niggas can't die. In Jesus' name we pray. But his hands tied at the moment we focused on damaging your man's pride. I stand high. Mind of my own. While they grind, we hit our stride based on time and alone. And this is my visual rhymes to put mom in the zone. Well, she don't gotta be worried about times I get home. And I know, my niggas got me, I got me when shit is rocky, we rode. When niggas get ice for the cream, but niggas watch me, there's no. Escaping is danger, we see it daily. Niggas can hate you, but ain't no patience for being babied in this bitch, nigga. Tell them, you know?